Ever thought about why certain digital products perform better than others? It all begins with identifying your target audience and understanding their needs. Imagine you're an author. You wouldn't write a romance novel for someone who's into thrillers, would you? The same logic applies when creating digital products. The first step in this journey is to identify your target audience. Who are they? What are their interests, their age group, their occupations? It's important to paint a clear picture of who you're aiming to reach, but understanding who they are is only one part of the equation. The next step is to dive into their needs. What problems are they facing that your digital product can solve? Are they looking for ways to learn a new skill? Are they in need of a software tool that makes their workflow easier? Or perhaps they're seeking a piece of digital art to brighten their day. Figuring out these needs isn't always straightforward. It requires a bit of detective work. You might need to conduct surveys, engage in social listening, or analyze market trends. But don't let this discourage you. This research isn't just beneficial, it's crucial. It's what helps you create a product that provides value, a product that your audience not only wants, but needs. And remember, needs can change. Society evolves, trends shift, and so do the demands of your audience. So it's important to keep your finger on the pulse. Stay in tune with your audience, keep abreast of market changes, and be ready to adapt your product as needed. In the world of digital products, understanding your audience and their needs isn't just a one-time task. It's an ongoing process, a conversation that continues as long as your product exists. It's the core of your product development, the foundation of your business strategy. Once you've identified your audience and their needs, you're one step closer to creating a digital product that truly resonates. Quality trumps quantity every time, especially when it comes to digital products. This adage rings true in the world of digital product creation. You see, the content of your digital product is its heart and soul. It's what provides value to your audience. It's what solves their problems. And it's what ultimately convinces them to make a purchase. Creating high quality content, whether it's writing, design, or video, is crucial. Let's break it down. If you're crafting an ebook or an online course, your writing needs to be clear, concise, and compelling. It should engage the reader, provide valuable insights, and lead them on a journey of discovery. And remember, typos and grammatical errors can undermine your credibility, so always proofread your work or hire a professional editor. When it comes to design, think about the user experience. Whether you're developing software, designing a website, or creating digital art, your product should be visually appealing and easy to use. Use colors, fonts, and images that evoke the right emotions, and make sure your design is consistent across your product. Remember, a well-designed product not only looks professional, but it also enhances the user's experience and satisfaction. If your digital product involves video, make sure it's engaging and high quality. Keep your videos short and to the point. Use clear and concise language and incorporate visuals to help explain your points. Good lighting and clear audio are also essential. A poorly lit video or one with bad audio can be distracting and can turn your audience off. So, how do you create engaging and valuable content? Start by understanding your audience's needs and wants. Then, use that knowledge to create content that provides solutions and adds value. Use storytelling to engage your audience, and don't be afraid to show your personality. After all, people connect with people, not products. Remember, your digital product is a reflection of you. Strive for excellence and it will set you apart. Your commitment to quality, your attention to detail, and your passion will shine through your digital product, helping you to stand out in a crowded market. You've got a brilliant product. Now, where do you sell it? This is the question that puzzles many creators after they've poured their heart and soul into creating a digital product. The answer lies in choosing the right platform that aligns with your product, target audience and business goals. Think of it this way. Your product is a rock star, and the platform is its stage. A rock star needs the right stage to shine, and so does your product. Let's explore some of the stages or platforms available to you. First, there's the personal website, the home stage if you will. Selling directly from your site can give you full control over your product's presentation, pricing, and customer experience. However, it requires a good grasp of website building and management. And let's not forget, you'll need to drive traffic there yourself. Next, we have marketplaces like Etsy and Gumroad. Think of these as bustling music festivals where you get a booth. These platforms already have a customer base, which means you can potentially reach a larger audience. However, remember that you're also amidst a sea of competitors. 
Additionally, these platforms may take a cut of your sales as a fee for their services. Then there are platforms like Teachable, specifically designed for online courses. These are like specialized music venues catering to a specific genre. They offer tools tailored to course creation and student engagement, but similar to marketplaces, they may take a percentage of your earnings. When choosing a platform, consider the nature of your digital product, the ease of use of the platform, the potential reach, and the cost involved. It's about finding a balance between visibility and profitability. Remember, you can always experiment, try out different platforms, see where your product gets the best response and adjust accordingly. Choosing the right platform can make or break your digital product's success. Choose wisely. And remember the stage doesn't make the rock star. It's the rock star that makes the stage. So focus on creating that brilliant product and the right stage will follow. Creating a great product is just half the battle. You also need to get it in front of the right people. Now let's delve into the world of marketing. Picture this. You've developed an exceptional digital product. It's polished, it's valuable, and it's ready to go. But how will your target audience know about it? It's time to strategize and promote. One of the most effective ways to market your digital product is through the power of social media. Platforms like Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter are teeming with potential customers. Craft engaging posts, share sneak peeks of your product, and start conversations. Remember, social media is not just about broadcasting, it's about building relationships. Engage with your followers, respond to their comments and messages, and show them you appreciate their interest. Next up, email marketing. This is an excellent tool for reaching out directly to those who have shown interest in your product. Craft compelling newsletters, share exclusive offers, and keep your subscribers updated about your product. But remember, nobody likes spam. Make sure your emails provide value and are not just sales pitches. Collaborations can also open new doors. Partner with influencers or other brands that share your target audience. This can help you tap into their follower base and reach a wider audience. But choose your partners wisely. Align yourself with those who share your values and can genuinely endorse your product. Paid advertisements can also be an effective way to reach a wider audience. Platforms like Google Ads and Facebook Ads provide targeted advertising options to reach the right people at the right time. Remember, marketing is not a one-size-fits-all game. What works for one product might not work for another. The key is to continuously test, learn, and adapt. Keep an eye on what strategies are working for you and which ones aren't. Take feedback, learn from your mistakes, and keep improving. Effective marketing can skyrocket your digital product success. So, put your marketing hat on and let the world know about your amazing product. Feedback is the breakfast of champions, especially for digital product creators. Just as a delicious breakfast fuels your body for the day, feedback fuels the growth and development of your digital product. It's the secret sauce that takes your creation from good to great, making it a must-have for your audience. Think of feedback as an invaluable tool, a compass guiding you towards the needs and wants of your customers. It uncovers the blind spots you may have missed and provides a fresh perspective on your product. It's like having a conversation with your customers, hearing their thoughts and understanding their experiences. When you actively listen to your customers, you show them that their voices matter, that their opinions are valid and appreciated. This goes beyond just improving your product. It helps to create a bond, a relationship built on trust and mutual respect, which in turn fosters a loyal customer base. You see, loyalty is not just about liking a product. It's about feeling valued, feeling heard. When customers know that their feedback contributes to the improvement of a product they use, they feel a sense of ownership, a sense of pride. They become advocates for your product, spreading the word, and helping your business grow organically. But how do you go about collecting feedback? Well, it could be as simple as an email survey or a feedback form on your website, or perhaps a more interactive approach like a live chat or a community forum. The key is to make it easy for customers to share their thoughts and experiences. Once you've gathered feedback, it's crucial to act on it. Analyze the data, identify patterns, and implement changes. Remember, feedback is not just to be heard, but to be acted upon. This continuous cycle of listening, analyzing, and improving is what keeps your product relevant, dynamic, and in line with customer expectations. Feedback is your secret weapon to creating a digital product that people love. Use it wisely and watch your digital product business grow.